Welcome back to our uh, little tutorial series on making a promotional banner for a website. Um, just to remind you, um, what we're aiming for is uh, a banner that looks a little bit like this one, um, advertising some free swimming lessons for under three-year-olds at um, our client's swimming centre called Super Splash. Um, so we've got to the point now in our project where we've put in the swimming pool background and we've put in our baby image and we've cut out the background from the baby image uh, and we're ready now to add the text that tells um, our customers or our visitors what it is that we're promoting. So a quick look back to our original sketch will remind us of the sort of text details we want. So it's not a lot of information, free swimming lessons for under threes uh, and we just need to say when it is um, and where. So not very much information, we don't want to overload it with text, instead we want it to be something that can be easily picked up with only a couple of seconds of viewing. So let's get started putting the text in. To add text uh, we just need to use the text tool over here on the left. If you click on that um, you are able to click and drag where you want your text and as you drag you will change the font size that you'll be producing. Um, I'd like some quite big text to say free so that looks about right, and we just type in the text we want. By default, you'll get Times New Roman. It's not a very inspiring font choice, um, so we want to drag and select um, over the text we've just entered and choose a new font from the fonts drop-down. Now, there are lots of fonts to choose from. Um, many of them will be appropriate, um, depends on your design and possibly on the uh, brand guidelines of your client. Um, but yeah, there's, there's tons in there and you get to see a little preview of each one um, as you go through the list. I'm going to pick one called Fluffy Slacks BTN and I think that looks already uh, an awful lot better. But it would be nice if it weren't black, so we're going to try and add a little bit of colour to this now. So again, all I need to do is select the text. Um, if for any reason you can't select text, make sure you've got the text tool selected. Uh, and then once you've got your text selected, you can click up here on this square. And this is where you can set the colour for the text. So I'm going to choose a sort of an orangey colour. Maybe slide that up a little bit, a bit more orange than red. There we go, that looks pretty good to me. Um, so you can affect your base colour by dragging this slider down here. And then you change your saturation or your luminosity uh, by moving within this large square once you've got your base colour. OK, if you're happy with your colour, just press OK. And we can choose our Move tool, and there we go, ready to go. That looks pretty good to me. We can move that around. Um, what I think I'd quite like to do is just give it a nice jaunty rotation. So I'm going to choose the Deform tool. And if you just move the mouse away from the centre through the diagonal, you'll see that eventually your cursor changes to this little rotating icon. And once you've got it like that, you can click, drag, and it will rotate your text just to make it just a bit more fun. And we can move that around again. All right. OK, free. Free what? Well, swimming lessons. So let's put some more text in. Let's grab our text tool again. Oops, make sure we're clicking on a new area of the page. And let's add in swimming lessons. Yet again, it has uh, chosen a pretty boring font. It's also gone slightly off the edge, but that's okay. We'll move it in a second. Uh, I'm going to go back. I want to use uh, my fluffy slacks again, which now will be at the very top because it's recently used. And rather than being black, I'm going to make this white. Ah, uh, look, I can see that I didn't get my final S, so I better select that and do the same. Lovely. Okay, free swimming lessons. Excellent. And because each of these different bits of text is on its own layer, uh, we can put them on top of each other uh, and they can kind of, you know, they can sort of playfully be positioned and, it, and that, that works absolutely fine. To help us in identifying our layers, it's a good idea to name them. So layer three, if I switch on and off, is clearly the swimming lessons. So if we just right click on layer three, go to properties, and we can give it a name, so I'm just going to call it Swimming Lessons. This will help us later when we need to identify our text. And if I click on layer two and switch it off, 
that's obviously the text that says free. So I'm going to rename that one to free. Fantastic. Okay, we're getting there. Now we just need to put in uh, the fact that it's for under three year olds. So again, we we'll grab the text, choose somewhere to draw it for under threes, select. I'm going to choose a different font this time. I'm going to choose um, TW Sen MT Condensed Extra Bold, perfectly named font that it is. Uh, and that's looking okay. Uh, I could possibly make it a bit bigger. Um, also, probably, again, it would be nice if it were a different uh, color font. So let's go back to our font selection tool and select it. And we can change the font size from here. Well, that's probably a bit too big. We can type a font in if we're not sure, or a type of size even 50. Yeah, that's probably about right. And I'm going to make it a sort of a yellowy color. So I'm going to go for maybe a yellowy, greeny color. Nice. I think that stands out really nicely. So we've got our text in, and in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at adding in some icons for the time and the dates of this event. So go and get your banners uh, to the state that you've got some text in them and then we'll carry on in the next part.